<clears throat> hey y'all, welcome to another Wet Your Whistle Wednesday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Bear Reviews. Hey, this week, all right, so y'all are seeing this in September, and officially I think that Oktoberfest over in Germany kicks off in September, but I'm actually recording this in August, but <laughs> whatever. Anyway, today I've got a Samuel Adams Oktoberfest Hardy and Smooth. It's my first Oktoberfest that I've seen um, where I was able to purchase it. Now, I sent uh, my little brother, he does a lot of traveling with his work, and uh, he was in E-Town, Kentucky, and uh, while he was there, they got a place called the Liquor Bar. It's got all kinds of different beer. And uh, I, I, while he was there, I submitted an online order, and he picked it up for me while I was there. Well. One of the beers was a Founders Oktoberfest. Man, I was looking forward to trying it. Oh, turns out they didn't have it. They were already sold out. So <laughs> I probably won't be able to find it around here, man. I really was looking forward to that Founders Oktoberfest because I love Founders. Anyway, whatever. Um, this is the first Oktoberfest I've seen around here. So we're gonna try this today on a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. This is Samuel Adams uh, Oktoberfest Hardy and Smooth is a 5.3% ABV, 16 IBUs. Um, says it's best for January. Well, we're gonna consume it long before January. All right, so it says, malt brings so much to a great beer. That's why we developed a unique malt blend to pr provide a robust color and smooth, rich flavor. Like you, we look forward to this tradition every year. Uh, looks like Tim Coke or Jim Coke, maybe, founder and brewer. All right, so this stuff is, is produced in Boston, Massachusetts, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Bringingsville, Bringing, Bringingsville, Pennsylvania. Okay, didn't know that. I just thought it was all done in, in Boston. Anyway, let's try this today. Wet your whistle Wednesday. I appreciate y'all joining me. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at that pretty color. Dad gum. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that. Dad gum. Beautiful. Beautiful autumn. I, I, I just associate that color with autumn, right? I mean, just a dark, dark amber, almost a, a burnt orange, maybe. Just a beautiful pumpkin, almost a pumpkin color. At least with my shades on. May not be that way with my shade, yeah. It's still. Beautiful, beautiful beer. <laughs> I love it, y'all. Love, love beer. Love appreciating beer. I'm catching an aroma off of it, but it's very, very mild and light. I can't, it's not really something I can explain. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, what the flavor of that head, good. Didn't go off, didn't give off much of an aroma, but the flavor is delicious. Um. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Just makes you think about harvest. <laughs> I don't know if I can get that set up here. You can see the bottle there. There we go. Samuel Adams Oktoberfest. Now, I believe I've reviewed this beer before, but man, it's been. Uh, at least a year ago, maybe a little bit more. Um, anyway, I love Samuel Adams. Uh, I like trying their different brews. The first, my first venture outside the world of domestic beer was with a uh, Samuel Adams Boston Lager. And man, I got that stuff and it just, it rocked my world, man, because the flavor was so, robust and unique compared to like a, a 
a regular Budweiser or Miller or, or those kind of beers. Um, so I, I've really appreciated Samuel Adams brews for the most part. They've been really good. And uh, man, that's just a skeeter. Let me get off me, skeeter. Dad gummy. I'm out here in, in my backyard here in Bale Buckle, Tennessee. <laughs> it got, it's muggy hot. I'm sitting here in the shade. It's been raining the last couple of days and it's just, ugh, the air's just thick and muggy. And, but I mean, the got a little breeze blowing so it's not too bad out here. I'm sitting in the shade. Anyway, whatever. Pretty brew. Nice pretty brew. Samuel Adams Oktoberfest. Let's see what this is like. Hey, uh, this Samuel Adams Oktoberfest is for all American workers. Love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the work you put in day in, day out. So, you know, providing for yourselves and your families and taking taking care of yourself. You know, paying your own way. Um, it's so important. I, I want y'all to know, I don't care what kind of work you do. If you're working to make a living, thank you. Thank you for supporting our economy and paying your own way. Old Uncle Bub here appreciates it. Cheers. Well, it's a good beer. Um, I, I was expecting just a little bit more out of the flavor with that color. Um, it's not bad by any stretch. It's not bad at all. I was expecting more out of it though. Um, a little bit disappointed there. You know, it's uh, well, what can I say about it? I don't, I don't really want to say anything bad because it's not bad. Um, it's just not what I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little more robust, have a little more character. Um, you know, I didn't get much aroma out of it. The head didn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. But, and you know, the body itself, it, it's good, but it's just not, it's not outstanding by any stretch. It's good beer. I mean, I'm not sorry I bought it. I've got five more of them to enjoy, and I will, I will enjoy them, but. I was expecting a little bit more. I mean, the flavor has, it has just the slightest hint to me of a, a, a kind of a roasted malt. Just very, very subtle, very, very light. Um, the carbonation is kind of low. Um, I mean, but other than that, it's just kind of a, just a kind of run of the mill type beer. It, it, it reminds me a little bit of a, uh, a Shiner Bach, but to be honest with you, I, I think I would have preferred a Shiner Bach over this. Just, just tell them like I, like I said, y'all. Y'all may have a, a totally different opinion. Y'all may like, y'all may love this. I don't know. It's just, it's a little bit disappointing to me. It's still good. I mean, I, I wouldn't pour it out by any stretch, man. I, there ain't no way, but it's just not what I was expecting. Oh, well. All right, y'all. So that's been a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday for this week. I'll be back tomorrow. I've got another Tennessee brew for you to do on Tennessee Thirsty Thursday. So... Uh, if y'all like the videos, there's a little beer mug right over here somewhere. Y'all can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for you, trying a different brew. Letting you know what I think about it. Not that you really care. I mean, you know, we all have different tastes and different opinions, but I like making videos, and I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. So y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>